Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn, Japan. In the last episode, we got our new series started, got our army organized, started our initial training, which isn't going to be much because we don't have a ton of manpower available, um, got our first research all started, got our first um, national focuses all started, and so we are rolling along here pretty well. Now, um, there was one question in the comments with this was going to be a world conquest. I am, in a way, I guess you could say yes. Since we are going to be going communist, our plan is basically going to be to spread communism across the entire planet. So while we might not be directly conquering everybody, our plan will be to flip the entire planet into either communist allies or communist puppets. So, that is going to be the plan. Some of that will be direct fighting, some of that may be proxy wars. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so a few things we want to do uh, right out of the gate here is one thing I did not take a look at last episode is the Navy. You'd think we, as Japan, we'd want to take a look at our navy. So, here is the navy as it stands. Everybody's in separate flotillas. That's probably not how I want to do things. So this is largely frigates and corvettes. We're probably not going to see anything much bigger than that. Helicopter operators. Destroyers. So this is kind of our biggest fleet. More destroyers, frigates. The Miyoko, the Haruna, Hiei. More destroyers and frigates and corvettes. Furs and frigates. Okay. So the way we want to do it is we want to have patrol groups. And we want to have strike forces. Which is kind of the way the Navy actually works. So while this may be accurate, we also have a couple of submarine fleets. Attack submarines. We'll probably want to put those into the same fleet. Alright, what I would want to do, let's do this. Let's take this fleet and this fleet and let's merge them together. Alright, so there's 25 ships. It has our helicopter operator, which is the closest thing we have to an aircraft carrier. Bunch of destroyers, bunch of frigates, some corvettes. We're going to take this small fleet, and we're also going to merge that in. There we go. So now we have... Service fleet reserves? No. And then you merge down, and you merge down. These are going to become patrol groups. Okay, so you are a strike force. We're going to give you that symbol. These are going to be patrol groups. means we're going to give them this symbol and this symbol. Um, there we go. And you're going to be set for patrol. You're going to be set for patrol and you are a strike force. There we go. All 
All right, and then this fleet needs in a commander. That is kind of crap. Um, Sea Wolf, Blockade Runner, Spotter, Caustic Personality. I guess we'll go with you. Our submarines are also going to need an admiral. We have someone who's good at that. There we go. And this is not the surface. This is going to be our first fleet. Or... Sorry, I had to pause there for a second, but yeah, that's going to be the first fleet. Alright, and that's the submarine fleet one, which is fine. Now, I was also noticing that we did not actually have any air wings established, so... We are going to want to do that. You only have the capacity of 200 planes? Okay. Maritime Patrol. Sure. Maritime Patrol. And some air superiority fighters. Sure. Some more air superiority fighters. Not enough manpower. Okay. Well... Well, we at least have some wings uh, out there. We're going to have to do something about that manpower. I'm sure there's a lot I'm going to be able to do about that. We could institute a partial draft. And then increase our service for women to mandatory. That's going to require a lot of local power. Hmm. Or we could just spend our time right now improving our equipment. And we'll worry about the manpower later. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Armor and Reliability up. Komatsu, armor, Armored Fighting Vehicle Research. Armor and Salt Attack. I like Armor and Reliability. We're going to go with that. Yeah, we'll get all these guys established, and then we'll worry about our manpower situation. Because we got a ways to go before we're going to really have anything you know, militarily to do, because, well, you have Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution to deal with. Huh. Somalian Civil War is over. So basically, until we get rid of that, there's not a lot we can do. Lower demand for Japanese goods. A lower economic growth from fast growth. One of the three options. 20% no change. 30% uh. So we're currently on fast growth. And it did not change. Alright, excellent. The corruption's not bad. Though I really would like to get rid of it if I can. Oh, speaking of intelligence, we need to establish a, uh, an intelligence agency. Um, I guess we'll go with this. And we need to start building ships. Alright. What 
Do I actually I don't think I really need to start building ships because manpower. And our navy's pretty decent anyway. I mean though I could crank out some frigates and some corvettes, I guess. Hatsu Hatsuyuki class or Chikugo class? Hmm. Or Yamagumo class. The resources are all the same. These are anti submarine. These are more anti surface. All right, and what about Corvettes? I have a 1965 battleship hull. Alright, ceasefire between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, we've had to have a better Corvette. Hmm. That's all we got. All right, we've got our intelligence agency. How much naval experience do we have? None. Okay, well. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. Expand the automotive industry. We get a civilian industry and an infrastructure. Encanto. Reform the economic ministry. Grants national spirit. Reformed economic ministry, which grants production efficiency camp plus 10% caused to economic change cycles. Okay, let's work on that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to send our fleet out on exercises to build up some experience because I want to create some new designs. Oh, that's going to run us out of gas. Okay. That means we're going to need to import some oil. Oh, so be it. Uh, we can import it from the U.S., Is that enough? It helps. Vladimir Zirinovsky, elected president. 
You know, most observers expected Boris Yeltsin's heir Vladimir Putin to win. It seems the Russian population, Russian population, has chosen the hyper-nationalistic liberal democratic party and their leader, Vladimir Zirinovsky, to fill the position of Russian president. Putin's career is at an end. As I said, I randomized things, so um, we really have no idea what is going to happen. It's still draining out. Buy a little bit more. There we go. And we can still build effectively. Well, for the most part. An operative can be recruited. Let's see, who do we got? Rinko Mori, Sotokichi Akiyama, or Junko Inoue? Um. Character cipher effectiveness, steel blueprint risk. Um, tough. Escape artist. No, let's go with Junko here. And uh, do we want to send her to China? Yes. We'll send you to China to start building an intel network there. All right. Let's get some uh, military department going. Researching a cruiser. Though a 1975 cruiser is not really going to be that helpful. Let's just crank it up to speed 5. There's no real reason not to. We're going to be getting our new... Infantry equipment soon. Let's see, you need utility vehicles and recon tanks. We're working on it. All right. Let's see, gains national spirit support for business. Now, what is the that? What is the one that? Re well, there is a research slot, so we probably want to go for that. Break the deflation. That's also what we need right now. Let's get that started. Greece moves toward the left. Let's see. After the harsh economic policies enacted by the recent Greek government, unemployment has risen, and the working class of Greece demands action against the Greek government. The working class has rallied behind the far-left KKE party, Communist Party of Greece. KKE is against unemployment and the violation of workers' rights while supporting anti-Western policies and organizing constant riots made up of workers to put pressure on the Greek government. All right, interesting. Let's get our new guns. And we're still in 2000, so going after these is probably not necessary. But let's go after our improve any tank weapons. How 
How's the budget looking? Positive by 1.5 billion per day. That's good. Somalia took one state. The Somali National Alliance was annexed. Okay, so... Somalia is working over there. The United States proposes to construct one civilian industry in Kanto. The full project is estimated at $16 billion. The United States is offering us a deal where we contribute 25% of the construction sum. The Americans will gain both influence and profits from the project. We'll accept. We'll accept that one. Because right now, if I look at my influence... Oh, nope, that's not what we're looking for. I think they have a lot of influence, but I'm not worried about that right now. Getting another civilian factory is actually nice, so... I'll take it. Oh, we have political power. Um, Mitsubishi Aerospace. Fixed wing. Reliability and operational range. Ground attack. Strategic bombing. Ground attack and air defense. Naval attack. Naval targeting. I think we'll go with Kawasaki. There we go. And helicopter companies. Jubaland was annexed. Okay. Ground attack and reliability. That's kind of what we need them for. Yeah, Mitsubishi. Alright, we have 37 naval experience. That might be enough. 1985 artillery. Uh, fire control system. Alright, let's see if that's enough to get a design for a Corvette. Module slot, battery, light guns, light guns four. Let's get that up. Auxiliary slots, fuel tanks, point defense systems, turret missiles, mine laying torpedoes. Um. I'm not sure I want to put, uh, like, a helicopter pad on these. Anti-aircraft missile. Ram. Anti-air. Let's give these anti-ship missiles. Torpedoes. Mm-hmm. Now, thing is... Do you want them to hunt subs? Now, these are going to be kind of an anti-ship Corvette. Let's keep the, um... Oh, I'm gonna need a class. Okay, hold on. 
Okay, I got it. This is going to be... The Katsuragi class. Alright. Let's get some of those built. And let's go ahead and get the, the frigates in there as well. And we are short some metals, which we can always buy those. Um, get them from Canada, that's fine. Alright, we have an air assault brigade, which... Uh, is this guy? The Mullion Civil War is over. Bell UH-1 Iroquois. Transport helicopters. Yeah, this is like a lot of old gear. But you know what? We got them trained and we got them out there. So that's good. We can always get their gear updated later. We're going to be behind on recon tanks for a while. But we are getting our new civilian factories built, so that's good. And then we'll get to our military factories. Economic intelligence. Let's get that going. Because until we have... Alright, there's our armor. What are you guys using? Investments in Southeast Asia is done. Type 60, Type 73s, Type 89 IFVs. As far as actual tanks, Type 74s, primarily. Yep. Alright, let's go for the research slot first. Because that will provide the greatest benefit over the longest period of time. The Kursk submarine disaster. The officials of the Russian Federation have recently reported that the Russian Navy submarine K-141 designated name Kursk has been sunk in the Barents Sea, 75 kilometers from the shoreline of the Kola Peninsula on August 12th, 2000. This is October. Well, now they're just reporting it at roughly 11.30 a.m. The Russian Navy has publicly offered several explanations, including a collision or an attack by a NATO submarine. NATO General Secretary has already denied these allegations. The death toll stands at 118, which equals the entire crew of the K-141. Alright, yeah, we are still going to do exercises to build up that... And speaking of exercises... Uh, these guys are seasoned. Seasoned. Uh, you could use some stuff, but I'm not worried about one single divisions right now. Alright, what do we got? Uh, ship companies. Increase consumer confidence. Replace stable growth with fast growth. Okay. Uh, let's see. Max speed, max range, and surface visibility down. Uh, transport ships. Eh. 
Sub detection, max range, and surface visibility. I think we're going to go for Kawasaki. Spirit of revolution in the United States. The current system is utterly unacceptable. The people in the nation state are getting wrecked in the by the swamp of politics and the economic oligarchs and backroom backstabber that run our country from the shadows. Bill Clinton, President of the United States, has today caused a lot of raised eyebrows when going on a rant about the political process that a Fox News pundit, did Fox News exist at the time? I don't remember, uh, called Unhinged, and that was insulted as unpresidential and completely unprecedented by a speaker on the CNN network. It is, however, I know CNN existed back at the time. It is, however, yet unclear whether or not Bill Clinton was advocating a radical swing toward the far right and the nation state or toward the far left and the people. Okay. And we can do one more thing. Let's see. For submarines, stealth down. That's okay. Speed up, service visibility down. More stealth. Like, these are the same thing, only better. All right, Bill Clinton has been reelected. Um, wouldn't that have been a third term? Yeah. That that's one of the things is that um, this mod apparently does not have term limits. So whatever. Two thirty-three. We could institute a partial draft. Let's do it. Now we can't do mandatory service for women. Yet. All right, here's my mechanical mechanized brigade. That goes there. All right, well, things are coming along. We've got our first new ships. This looks good. We've got one more division that needs to finish training. They need some utility vehicles. We'll get there. And then we're kind of pretty much not much left to do because we just don't have manpower. But we're going to work on that. All right. But I think for now we'll go. We'll we're done for the episode. And we'll go ahead and stop here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.